when Van Diathevan entered the house of the young soothsayer for the second time, a wonderful feeling of pleasure arose in his heart. It was inside that small house that he saw Ilya Prati Kundave for the first time. He was stunned to see her red face and big black eyes that were wide with amazement. It was there when her honeyed voice fell on his ear. All these memories flooded his mind. His ears were sweetened by them, the heart is sweet, the whole body was sweet and thrilled. The astrologer was just then preparing for the evening puja. When he saw him, he said, Come, father, come. Is he the mighty one of the monkey clan? Said. Yes, soothsayer. Your divination is backward, but your memory is prodigious. Van Diathevan said. Memory power is very important for learning Tambai Suthita Shastra. Planets, stars, muscles, Bukthis, yogas, these have locks of combinations. Keeping in mind the year, month, day, hour, second, hundredth of a second time, should we not calculate this amount? Let it go, even though my fortune telling is before and after. What is its meaning? What I have told you is of no avail. Isn't there a way to find that out in your divination as well? There is, there is. You can find out by divination, you can find out by speculation. You must have what I told you. If not, will you come back to this hut? Yes, yes. Your soothsayer did it. Say so. In what way did it work, father? You said, what you told me has worked. If what you are going for happens, it will happen, if it doesn't happen, it won't happen. And so it happened. Even I say happened. Run away as soon as you see me. Brother. You're so funny. True word, I'm funny. And a little angry. When you come into this hut, you must pack your anger outside. I thought I could do that. But I didn't see your disciple at the door. I brought him in to see what happens if someone beats him when he leaves the sack of anger. Where is your disciple, detective? I remember the last time he stopped me at the door. Isn't it the fifth day of the new moon today? He would have gone to call it Taker I for that. What's the connection between the new moon and the beach? The great Sangam of the Kalamukkas is taking place today at Kalatakare. My disciple is from Kalamukka. Astrologer. I am thinking of leaving Saivism alone. Leaving. Your friend Alvar KDR is trusting. Thirumalaya will tell. Yes, I intend to take initiation from him and wear the name all over my body and become a heroic Vaishnava. Why is that? I saw some Kala Muga Shivites. I even saw them on the way here. It seems that after seeing them and the skulls they hold, they may give up Saivism. Brother. Having seen so many battlefields, why are you afraid of skulls? Fear is nothing, disgust. What does killing enemies on the battlefield have to do with garlanding skulls? Didn't your master Aditha Kari Kalar come and take the head of Vera Pandian and march? He did so because he had made some vow. He regretted it afterwards. He did not even wear the skull as a garland, did he not carry it in his hand? Why do the Kalamukkas do that? They do it so that they don't forget that life is impermanent. You and I anoint ourselves, what is that? This human body is not permanent. We anoint ourselves so that we don't forget that one day it will turn to ashes. It is true that the human body is impermanent, it burns to ashes, or dust to dust, Lord Shiva's Thirumani is not. Why does Paramashiva hold a skull in his hand? Brother. The skull in Lord Shiva's hand represents pride. It shows that overcoming pride leads to bliss. Isn't Lord Shiva doing the dance of bliss with a skull in his hand? How can a skull represent arrogance? I don't know. Then Shiva pinched one of Brahma's five heads and punished him. As Brahma fought and lied out of arrogance, his head became a symbol of arrogance. Vandiyathevan smiled as if thinking of something. What are you laughing at, brother? I didn't laugh at anything. I remembered something, so I laughed. What's the matter? No secret. What is the secret? 
If I am to be punished as Brahma was punished, at least ten thousand heads will come to me. I laughed at the thought. You've told so many lies. Yes, soothsayer. That seems to be my horoscope. After meeting Bonnie's lover, I decided to tell the truth. Once I told an important truth. Those who heard it laughed, no one believed it. Yes, brother. The times have gone so bad. People don't believe a lie these days, how are they going to believe the truth? The fate of your astrology will be the same. Soothsayer. Do you remember what you said about Prince Aromas Hivarmar? Didn't you say that he who stands in the sky at the foot of the northern direction is like the shining pole star that is the Lord of Pawnee? I said, so what? Didn't you hear the news about him? How can you not be asked? The whole country and city are talking the same. Have you heard that the pole star is drowned in the ocean? The pole star doesn't sink into the ocean. But clouds can sometimes hide that star, can't it? Even today the clouds are gathering in the north. Tonight, try as you might, you won't be able to see the pole star. So that star will be gone. You say so? Do you know any real news about Bonnie's lover? How should I know? Rumor has it that you were the last one to jump into the sea with him. If you did, you should know. I thought I'd ask you. Wanting to change the subject, Van Diathevan said, Astrologer. How is the comet? He asked. It seems too long in the evening hours. The length must be reduced from now on. If there is any accident due to Dumakatu, it must happen very soon. God! What will happen to anyone in the kingdom? Said the soothsayer. Vandiyadeva's heart fluttered to and fro. Sundara Chola, who is suffering from Paris gas in Tanjore, Pani's lover who is lying in bed in Nagaipatnam, Aditha Kari Kalar who is going to meet Nandini in Kadampur Palace, Madhurand Hagar who is desirous of kingdom and is the object of people's anger, and Nandini who is charming with a murder sword in her hand came to his heart in a row. Let all that go, soothsayer. What is the matter of the royal clan to us? Tell me how the work I am about to undertake will be accomplished. What I told you before must be said now, father. Many misfortunes will come to you, you will receive unexpected help to overcome them all. Said the soothsayer. Vandiyathevan wondered if what was coming at the door was an accident or a help. For just then men's voices and women's voices were heard at the door. Both looked towards the door. Next minute Goddess Vanati and her Pangi came in. Vandiyathevan stood up and respectfully said Devi. Forgive me. If I had known you were coming here, I would not have come.